Okay, back to our weather right now. The rain and drizzle will continue today and maybe for the next couple of days. Elise Finch back now with your first alert forecast. Hi, Elise. Hey, Chris. Yeah, so we do have a chance to see more drizzle and light showers on Tuesday and Wednesday, but the temperatures will be much warmer. They're not bad today. Take a look at the current temps. Uh, they're fairly mild across the tri state area in the upper 50s, pretty uniformly. 57 for Sparta and Central Park, as well as Poughkeepsie. We've got 58 for Edison and the Hamptons, as well as White Plains, and then 59 degrees for Babylon. So uh, one of the warmest locations on the map. Visibility still an issue. We continue to deal with some fog, and so visibility reduced in places like White Plains here in New York City, also in Brick. So just be mindful of that as you move around, that we are still dealing with not just the clouds and the rain, but also some fog. So let's show you where the majority of the rain is right now. You look out around the east end of Long Island, so South Hold, Southampton, we are seeing some heavier rain there. We've got another cell poised to move on shore right now, and that's one of the problems that we'll have as we head into the afternoon. So whereas other locations like across northern New Jersey, where we saw some pretty heavy rain this morning, it is now tapered off to lighter showers. And that's primarily what we should be seeing for the remainder of the day. Same as we head north in the lower Hudson Valley. Uh, at first, it was just cloudy and sort of damp and drizzly. Then we saw some of those more significant cells move through. But the proximity of this area of low pressure and the front that it's sort of hanging out by uh, means Means that we'll see a lot of activity on Long Island this afternoon, but also into Fairfield County, Connecticut. So we turn on the future cast. This is not doing a great job of picking up on some of that shower and thunderstorm activity that is pushing uh, onshore, but just know that that's there. And then we head into the day tomorrow. We see more showers. It's not going to be as significant as what we saw today. At least that's not the anticipation. That's not what we're forecasting, but you will still see some showers on Tuesday and again on Wednesday. So you have your rain gear with you today, or at least you should. You'll want to keep it handy for Tuesday and Wednesday. Again, it's a stubborn area of low pressure, but as this cold front approaches from the west, it doesn't pack a whole lot of punch. We don't get a lot of moisture out of the front itself, but it does serve to push the area of low pressure away from us. So that's the good news, and we dry out by Wednesday night. When that happens, how much rain, how much more rain will we see? Eh, maybe like a quarter of an inch more uh, than what we have right now for most of the area. So 63 degrees today, we will keep the umbrella handy, or at least you should. Uh, we'll see some showers and drizzle, not just for the remainder of the afternoon, but again tonight. And then even as we head into the day tomorrow, still a chance for some rain on Tuesday and Wednesday, but you'll notice it'll be much warmer. The highs 69 degrees for Tuesday and Wednesday, Chris. Okay, Lisa, thanks so much.